Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. The last time we got together, we discussed what was going on in your first responder brain. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into the entire anatomy and physiology of your favorite caffeine chugging, toilet destroying first responder body. One of the strongest organs that we found on the body is the stomach. We're thinking this is because it's been strengthened and tested over years of being forced to digest things like five alarm firehouse chilies or three fast food meals a day for our band aid box riding EMTs and paramedics. And speaking of the digestive system, if you think being a first responder is hard, try being a plumber in one of those places. There's always a dude rolling in at shift change It smells like he's rotting from the inside out. Now the only organ in the body that seems to be stronger than the stomach is located right here in the body. It's where the ego is stored. Now this organ doesn't seem to grow for the first 365 days of somebody's employment, but on the 366th day it seemed to explode into a mushroom cloud of random facts like how much they can bench press, how much crossfit they do, and why they are so much more intelligent than everyone else senior to them. Now the ego seems to grow at a normal speed across the board for all first responders. Uh, the only variance that we found is if the first responder is shorter or smaller than the rest of them, their ego tends to be five to six times their normal size, seeming to try to make up for something. Now the only organ in the first responder's body that seems to completely stop growing at the age of 12 is the organ responsible for maturity. And that's why every single first responder you know still thinks that fart jokes are funny. Uh, watch. <laughs> <laughs> With most people's hearts and adrenal glands when they drink coffee or any other kind of caffeinated product, we see a huge spike in their energy and heart rate. But with first responders, they seem to be completely immune to the amount of caffeine that it takes to energize a normal human. In fact, during our study, we witnessed a first responder finish his third cup of coffee and then take a nap immediately after. Now, one of the most amazing adaptations we found in the first responder is their skin. Now, their skin seems to be as thick as leather. We believe this is because the average first responder shows their love through a constant berating of insults, pranks, and other things to test each other's weakness. And the one thing we've learned is if somebody shows weakness, there's probably gonna be paperwork or crying. Most likely both. Please join us next time when we dive into finding out why tones stimulate the bladder and also when we find the science behind why driver engineers store all their energy in their power belly.